Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what are the advantages of packages. So in the previous tutorial, we've already seen the introduction to packages, and also we have seen um, how we can write a program or a, uh, sorry, how we can write a procedure or the function within a package, which will be having a private or public scope. So now let me move on with these advantages. The first point that we need to remember when coming to packages is packages will always improve improves uh, the performance of a function or else you can say a procedure. Okay. How this happens is um, just imagine that without using packages we will be able to even uh, execute a standalone procedure standalone program so standalone uh, sub program is nothing but a normal procedure or function we can do that even without a package right so what ha exactly happens is whenever we are trying to execute a standalone sub program any one of the thing happens what is that is either it a physical read will happen or is a logic logical read will happen what do we mean by physical read or logical read is so physical read in the sense that um, sorry so physical read means that uh, we are trying a uh, physical read is also called as a discrete that you need to remember and also that is nothing but physical read is nothing but we are trying to access the data from the database or else the hard disk so this is what is me the meaning of physical read and logical read means that we are trying to access the data from the main memory or which we call as RAM. Okay. So, this is what is called as physical read or logical read. So, whenever we are tr uh, trying to perform some action, we know always either one of the thing will happen, either the physical read or logical read. So, it is very, uh, you know, um, uh, understanding that always the physical read will be of higher cost when compared to logical read because physical read we know it needs to go to the hard disk then fetch the data from there so it's a very tedious task and it's very costlier compared to logical read whereas logical read already some of the data will be loaded into the ram just you need to search it if it is there then the you know the whatever action need to be performed it can happen within the ram itself so that is what is called as physical read and logical read so the problem is whenever we are trying to execute the standalone standalone procedure or the function uh, you know uh, it needs to just go search uh, the you know uh, procedures in the hard disk or our database then come uh, you know uh, it will load that into our SGA we know that SGA is nothing but shared global uh, uh, area where uh, so system global area or you can call it a shared global area so that the data will be loaded into SGA and then the uh, processing will happen or if uh, in case you know if we are lucky enough then some of the procedures might be residing in the logic you know, in the ram itself so that the processing might happen so most of the time always the you know physical read is what will happen whenever we are trying to execute a standalone procedure a new standalone procedure so this is what this the drawback of uh, executing a standalone procedure if you guys understand but when we are using a package we know that whenever we are using a packages we know that it's nothing but consist of uh, consist of many uh, procedures and functions and all right so whenever we are accessing a package what happens is the entire package will be uh, loaded into the sga sga our global you know the shared global area or whatever you call so it will be loaded into a package so whenever uh, we are trying to access a procedure uh, so that the package will be having many procedures right so luckily we'll be having will be able to fetch the uh, you know data exactly from the uh, we can do a logical read that's what i mean we can fetch the data directly from the ram itself rather than again and again going and fetching it from our hard disk so this is the main uh, uh, you know advantages of using a package that is what i said it improves the, the performance of our function and um, procedure so that you know it's be it will be cost effective so this is the first uh, you know uh, point that we need to remember when it comes to advantages of packages hope you guys have understood the first uh, advantage 
then second one is what uh, we call a we can uh, the packages will allow us to declare uh, global variables so this i have already discussed in the past three tutorials uh, as i said the you know the packages or the so the procedure or the function will be having the private and public scope whenever we are trying to declare the variable within the package header will be able to access those variables outside the package you know in different packages also when we are trying to uh, declare a variable within the package body then it will be able the, that variables can be used within that package and not in the other packages so i i hope even you have you guys have understood what uh, what do we mean by global variables so this is the another advantages then coming to the third advantages is it can implement overloading of uh, functions so overloading of functions is nothing but uh, where we are trying to use the same name for the function but with uh, different uh, parameters like we can say like different variables a function uh, called as for example a function is called as something like uh, fun uh, test and here it will be having um, some variable called i'll just say its number so this is called this is one function then a second function will be having the same name called test only but it will be having different uh, parameters like uh, it will be having uh, a one number comma a two var char so this is nothing but it's called as function uh, overloading so it uh, the package will help us to implement uh, overloading of functions also this is another advantage then coming to the fourth advantage is it uh, helps us to provide uh, better modularity what do we mean by modularity is nothing but the modular programming is nothing but the process of uh, subdividing a computer program into a separate sub programs so what i understood by this modularity is nothing but uh, where uh, as we are writing uh, programs by you know in uh, in parts and pieces like uh, where we are writing a procedure and another logic in another uh, set of uh, function or procedure so it will provide us a very good uh, you know um, sub program separate sub programs so it will as, as we see yeah the packages will provide a better modularity so that's what i have understood so that is the another fourth advantages of a, a package then coming to the fifth one is where um, it provides encapsulation this is a very uh, basic uh, uh, and a very important concept of uh, object oriented programming so even here also we use encapsulation so the package will always provide a better um, encapsulation so what do we mean by encapsulate like what are the benefits of encap encapsulation is so uh, as we know encapsulation is nothing but where uh, it contains like um, the the variables or procedure function everything is encapsulated which which is within one shield that is nothing but it is within one package right it has been covered it has been protected that is what is called as encapsulation so the benefits of encapsulation is nothing but it provides a um, very good maintenance is there and also we cannot easily change the you know the code change uh, code and all so whenever we are trying to change a variable value it's not so easy that we just go change the value of so this variable this variable it's not like that as it is encapsulated uh, there are some rules and regulation and also uh, as the package provide packages uh, provide encapsulation it uh, increases the increases the usability also so these are the main uh, you know uh, advantages of packages hope you guys have understood if there are any queries based on this if you haven't understood all these things then uh, i'll try to explain you in theoretic i mean in theoretical way so if any queries then please do mail me to pl sql dot informatica at gmail dot com and i will try to revert back as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much for supporting my videos uh, keep supporting and um, and also let me know what and all um, you know uh, concept that you want to uh, you know hear from me i'll uh, try to make videos on those and thank you very much for watching